Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Royal Ridge Stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this stitch has a lot of stretch to it uh, and it has this knit look which I absolutely love. Now the stitch is similar on both sides. So it's great for those crochet projects that uh, show off both sides and uh, it's really easy to work once you get the hang of it. So today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as some cotton yarn by Lion Brand. There's links to both of these items in the description of the video as well as a link, direct link, to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with a new free stitch tutorial on Sundays. As well if you like this tutorial I invite you to give it a thumbs up and be sure to comment down below uh, what you would use this crochet stitch for. Uh, so again, thank you so much for joining me. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and our your foundation chain today can be any number of stitches plus one. So I'm just going to chain a foundation chain for a smaller swatch, but it can be any multiple plus one extra. Once you have worked your uh, foundation chain, starting in the second chain from your hook, you're going to work one single crochet and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. I'm working in the back bumps of my chain stitches. It is just a personal preference. You can work in any uh, part of the chain that you would like, that you find most comfortable. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, your chain one does not count as a stitch, so we're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch and then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to uh, work the first of our ridge stitches. And what you're going to do, again, your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to work a half double crochet stitch in the third loop of each stitch all the way across. So looking at your stitch, you have the top two loops, your front and your back loop, that you usually work under. If you're looking at the back of the stitch, which is now facing you, you will see this horizontal bar, or this loop, that is running under your front loop. This is your third loop. So we're going to work a half double crochet inserting our hook under that third loop only in each stitch all the way across. So always working that half double crochet under the third loop of each stitch. 
what that's going to do is it going it's going to push the top of your stitches from the previous row forward uh, to the front or the back of your work because it is reversible just like this and it's going to create this ridge of texture. So continue working half double crochets in that third loop all the way across. At the end of row three, chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row three. So work a half double crochet stitch under the third loop of each stitch all the way across. And it's always going to be that third loop that is on the side of your work that is facing you. So you're going to repeat row three, half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way across, chain one, turn your work and repeat. And as you're working you will see your uh, ridges or the tops of your stitches coming through on both sides. So that's all there is to working the Royal Ridge Stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.